Hello everyone! Today I'm going to talk about using the ready-to-wear garments you can find on UDraper's website. There are a number of free options that you can use right off the bat, and there are more options being added. If an item has an, this asterisk beside it, that means that it contains the Draper pattern, as well as the 3D file. Up at the top here we have options for filtering by gender, clothing style, price, and whether or not the clothing has patterns. Opening up this dress, I can show you a little bit more of the information that's here. Currently all of the female garments are for tall metahuman characters, but there are different sizes for the underweight and the normal weight metahumans. Something to note is if it says and, then it means that there's grading options for this model. That means that in the plugin, you can switch between the underweight and the normal weight character, but if it says or, then you won't be able to swap the size inside of Unreal. So I'm going to pick out some options to use in this example. I'm going to take need to look for a top. Take this black option. And I want a skirt. I can use this option. And I'm picking the underweight size. Now I'm going to go to the checkout. Pretty simple. Signing in. Check out. It'll take you through this process, but thankfully it's free. Then I'm going to click continue shopping. And go to my account. Downloads. And here I'll have the options for my new clothing. I'm going to download these. And with those downloaded, I'm going to load up Unreal. Okay, now that this is all loaded up, I'm going to select the body and set up the Draper garment components. You can refer to our other video about how to set these up in more detail. The ready-to-wear garments are set up for the default pose that the metahuman is in. You can change the pose, but it's best to have it set up this way when you're initially adding the clothing. I'm going to come down to the archive because we're using the ready-to-wear garments. And if you set them up to be inside the project folder, then if you move the project, you don't have to set up the paths again. So I'm going to select this top. Oh, this is because I've already opened it before. These garments are modeled for the LOD of 1 and 3 for the body and head, respectively. If you have a different LOD, or you're using one of the simplified meshes, or your character has shoes that without feet, then you might get a pop-up that'll give you an option to use the UV mapping to wrap the garment. If your character has the same UVs as a metahuman, then you can just use that option to get it quickly wrapped. But if not, then you can just decline that and do the fitting manually via the simulation. You can check out our video on refitting the clothing to learn more about that. You can also export your collider mesh here directly to you, Draper, to fit the garment. And then you can save the garment file and that will fit it directly to the mesh collider. Really quickly, if I turn off the wrapping and set my character to be in a different pose. You'll see that the clothing will not be attached to the character. This is what will happen if it's not wrapped or the character's in a pose when imported. But if I turn on the wrapping again, you can see that it'll follow with the pose. 
And really quickly, I'll just add another garment. Top and skirt. Sure, it can be lowercase, why not? Okay, and then I'll just select the skirt. Now, because this is fitted for this character, it'll be wrapped correctly already. Yeah. But if I, again, turn off the wrapping, it will be in the default pose. And if I, with that off, if I take the pose off, it'll actually be wrapped correctly. There will also be a new A pose in the latest update that'll be for dressing the character in U Draper. And we'll cover a little bit of that when it comes out. If you have a character that is a different size and it's applicable, you'll have an option for grading. So with this, you can select different sizes, and we've actually found that 0.95 is about the right height if you are going from a tall character to a normal character. I'm actually going to pause this and download an average metahuman character. Okay, we now have a character that has the draper garment set up, and I can now add the clothing. Keeping in mind that this clothing is for the wrong size for this character. This is a normal size, and this clothing was for a tall character. But we're going to fix that with the grading option. So we're going to set medium for the normal. And I already have the scale set because we previously set this. And then checking the skirt. Setting it to medium. Also need to set this one to 0.95. Alright, now we've played the simulation. Now, I am a fan of turtlenecks. However, that's not the look we're going for for this character. Fortunately, this is easy to correct. What we need to do is select the garment uh, down here. And now we need to make sure that it isn't wrapped. And then we can drag this down. And then the same thing with the top. Okay, that should be better. There we go. Then I can save this while it's running and then turn on wrapping. And now we have the correct sizes. We do have videos about refitting and binding, but I'm also going to cover just a little bit of that here. Going back to the simulation, if I select the waistband of the skirt, I can go down to the binding options down at the bottom. If I set this to zero, then I'm actually able to pull the skirt away from the um, different areas where it would normally be bound or pinned. I can show that again. If I set this back to this, you can see that it snaps back to where it's bound. There are also options for changing the way that the simulation is controlled. You can change those settings by going to the simulation and adding a Draper interaction. This allows you to change the different settings. 
So for example, if I switch this to soft instead of hard, then I play the simulation. You can see that my grip is now gentle. But if I hold down shift, I have the hard grip again. There are also other settings in here that we cover in more depth in the fitting videos. Hopefully this helps you get quickly started with U Draper's latest fashions. And I'll see you in the next video.